Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, you need to tell me how you met Al Green. Well, actually, no, I didn't. I did not meet. So you Al didn't get to meet Al Green. But you, but you said you King. had a story to tell from Well, Al Green. where he recorded all of his stuff, Royal Studio in Memphis. Um, uh, uh, it was, what? I'm trying to think, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, damn, what was his, what was the, uh, his producer? Uh, Willie Mitchell. Willie Mitchell. That, that, Willie Mitchell. I think Sir Charles was talking about him. Owned that studio. That was his spot. That's the one that Sir, that Sir Charles was, was talking, talking about. about. My number one award is the Sweet Willie Mitchell Award. Okay, that's that's Pops Mitchell, out of Memphis, Tennessee. Now, remember what you were saying about the, the Muscle Show Studios? Yeah, 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 yeah. In Memphis, Pops Mitchell got the biggest studio. Okay, inside of Memphis, and that's responsible for your your Al Green. Okay. And stuff, and and he the one discovered Al Green, and made all of these classic records inside of that studio. Wow! So, me coming up through the tutelage of the Memphis sound, I got a chance to know Pop Mitchell's grandchildren. Wow! Which wow. run the studio now. Okay. Which is our uh, Boo Mitchell. Okay. And they gave me the blessings to let me learn things about. The way they actually recorded and did that stuff. Mm. Really? Back so they, in the they, they day, break, you know okay, they broke in. Mother never gave me the secrets. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's for, I'm grateful, grateful. thankful mm -hmm. to Pop Mitchell mm -hmm. yeah. for opportunity. The opportunity to touch this stuff. You can touch an actual board that the Rolling Stones had. Yeah. And stuff. Wow. And he was like, touch it. He was like, oh, and, and that's interesting to him. And he see that look in your eyes. Pop Mitchell see that look in your eyes. He and gonna sit down it. with you and teach you. Wow. How wow. to operate that board. He'd be like, son, I'm right here was this channel. He said, you see that cigarette stain right there? He said, uh, Al Green put that right there. Or he might be like right here. Albert King did this right here. And and uh, um, like certain stuff, like see what that, like how you got that entrepreneur hat. Yeah. Say if I threw that hat over there and you'd be like, you know what? I'll never move that hat. That's what he would do that. Ever again. Because you will always want everybody to know that Sir Charles Jones Actually threw that, that hat, hat over there. That's less, that's a legendary corner. <laughs> so man, you were like, wow, Albert King, this is his blanket. Wow. And here, you know what I'm saying? Wow, God. That's that's what Isaac <laughs> Hayes did. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You be mesmerized and he yeah. he take you through there, man, and let you see how they actually did this stuff and it trains you. It makes your hunger more yeah. Mm, just yeah, just yeah, mm, yeah. man then mm, to know that to know wow, I'm loved by that yeah. when you walk in, you walk feel in, you, can you feel don't even music. understand. You Sir Charles Jones came, came on and told me that. Same as it was. That's what he said. Really, he said if I threw a hat right there, the hat was right there. You remember he said yes. that? That's the what soundproofing is peeling off the wall. Y'all gotta understand the drums, the bongo, Al Green's mic, the organ, everything is exactly the same. Wow. Right. Boo Mitchell is a good friend of mine. That's Willie's son, and he runs everything now. There, they actually did. Um, What's the big uh, Bruno Mars song? Um, that, 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 I know what you're talking about. Uptown Funk. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. recorded that there and all of that. Really? That's why it sounds like it sounds. Wow. They used the horn players from Al Green's horn players and all that. <laughs> when I went in there, I got to use, we used uh, uh, his, key, his uh, piano player, his organ player, the horns, all of that came through and recorded. Wow. How did you feel? Charles is the, the organ player. He's like How a big brother. How did you feel when you were there Charles. doing that? It, I, I can't tell you because it's just, it's, it was so. so okay, yeah, I got right. it right here. This is the one. Two, two, two things because I don't like to, I know I get to stretching things out. My wife always tells me, stop talking. <laughs> no, <laughs> but listen, go ahead. Two things. So you know at the beginning of love and happiness? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you hear the. Doop. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before it's that. So everybody think that might be the guitar. Or you stab, you know, yeah, something I think like it's that. It's a guitar, that's right. A, so I'm thinking it's a guitar. I go in there with Boo and them and the people that originally was there, and I'm playing it because I know how to play the song on the guitar. And he was like, "No, nah, let me show you what it actually was." So he actually goes and get. You guys remember the old wooden Coca Cola crates? Yeah. Uh huh. The uh -huh, wooden ones. Uh huh. Uh huh. He turned that upside down. Said, "Stump your foot on that." <laughs> wow. The original one they used. That's what it was. Wow. wow. He stumped, I stumped my foot on there. It, it sounds, sounds just lit. like <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.